Okay, I am here today with a lesson on the hundred chain. This is a material that's familiar to a lot of students. It hangs with our other math chains. In my classroom, it hangs from the bottom of the counter in our math area to rows with the other math color beads. They're all, each color is connected into a chain. It's very visual. Kids can't help but go to it, count it, touch it, okay? I don't have the exact 100 chain here with me today at my house, but I do have our 10 bars, which are the 100 chain is made up of. So we can use our imaginations a little bit today and imagine that my 10 bars are connected to each other to form the chain, okay? okay here we go. is the hundred chain. It's made up of 10 tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can fold our chain. is a little easier to do when they are all connected. Can it work? Just gonna fold it all. Continue to fold here. And we can fold it. And what does that look like? A square. Looks like another material in our math area, in our bank. It looks just like our hundred square when we fold up the hundred chain. We don't have our golden bead material hundred square, but I do have the ones with the brown. And we know from our class that this is the same as our golden bead material. Hundred square folded up, excuse me, the hundred chain folded up. It's the same as the hundred square. This is 100, this is 100. We're gonna unfold our chain back out horizontally. This is a very long chain. takes up almost my entire work rug here. Can you see it? I might even have to move the screen back so you can see it all. It's a very long chain here. We're gonna go ahead and count our chain, name the numbers. We have little arrows here that we have in class. So a lot of our students should be familiar. They're very small, they're hard to see on the screen, but I have them for one through nine, and then for each 10 thereafter, all the way up to 100. Start with, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven, this is eight, this is nine, and the last one is one, let's get this here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here out, I'm only going to label my tens as we count along. We start at ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oops. 
two tasks. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Give me tens, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Four tens, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Five tens, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Six tens, sixty. Sixty one, sixty two, sixty three, sixty four, sixty five, sixty six, sixty seven, sixty eight, sixty nine, seventy. Seven tens, seventy. Seventy one, seventy two, seventy three, seventy four, seventy five, seventy six, seventy seven, seventy eight, seventy nine, eighty. Eight tens, eighty. Eighty one, eighty two, eighty three, eighty four, eighty five, eighty six, eighty seven, eighty eight, eighty nine, ninety. Nine tens, ninety. Ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, one hundred. This is one hundred. This is 100. You notice that it took quite a while to count if we're counting by each bead, by each unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. That takes a while. There's quicker ways to count. You can count in groups where we skip numbers. So today we're going to count in groups of 10 to 100. And notice how much quicker we get to 100 when we're counting by tens rather than by ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Much quicker than counting each and every bead out. And we know these are all in groups of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. How fast do you think you can learn it and say it? Super quick? What about backwards? 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Can you do it even quicker? 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. What if we start in the middle? What if we start at 50? 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. What if we started at 50 and counted backwards? 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. 
there are 10 tens on this chain. There are 100 beads on our 10, on our 100 chain. We know 10 squared equals 100. Okay. Thanks for watching this lesson. <laughs>